I actually bought knitting needles. This is my friend when you are lazy. Actually, that worked pretty well. I kind of had an eye for it. Hello, hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I do want to experiment and I do want to try something new uh, here in my channel. I do want to uh, also try knitting something and this came out of nowhere because actually I had this yarn that I had this idea on crocheting something. It turned out that the stitches that I was uh, looking forward to use, actually they did not turn out very very nice. So the first thing that I did, I actually uh, bought needles, knitting needles, and I actually tried to uh, remember how those two main stitches were made. And uh, I did follow a few tutorials where I actually started to do the purl stitch and the knit stitch. Whew, I cannot believe that I am actually saying right those words. Like I used to make a, a, a big confusion at the beginning, so I did went on and I uh, tried these two main stitches. And also I did a sample uh, for the gauge. So then I actually had the base to actually start this sweater. And I did want to film it from yesterday, but I did not have the time. So I am just going to show you that I actually jumped into this, uh, into this uh, project and I already started from yesterday. It was too late in the night, so I just wasn't really feeling the vibes of putting on the camera and showing you. I have been doing some progress here as well. I mean, I started, uh, here is my ribbon, which of course it's really not good. And then I just started here doing the pearls, the pearl, the pearl? Yeah, pearl stitch. So my intention is to do a very, very, very basic sweater, but I do love this color. So that's why I went on and started this project. And I think it's not going to be perfect. I don't think that my stitches are constant, but as I go, I feel that they do actually feel more uh, constant. So probably, um, once I'm done with this piece, probably it will look better uh, on the way up. This one is just going to be one piece in the front, one piece in the back, and then uh, one piece for the uh, sleeve and then another piece for the other sleeve. Sew them and put them together. That's my very simple idea how I'm going about this sweater. So wish me luck. Let's get on knitting. <laughs> After a couple of hours, I will say maybe two hours that I have been knitting on this. So I, the last time that I showed you, I was like up here and then I did all this part for these two hours. I'm quite happy with how it's turning out. I do want to uh, make a very quick update because I did finish the whole front part I think and now I came up to here and my idea is that 
I am going to start and shape the color over here and then once I arrive over here I probably will do some decreases over here as well on this side because I do want to uh, have a little bit of a shoulder over here and once that is done front side is done and I can just go straight to the back side and I think the back side is going to be quite easy because I don't need to do some color shaping I'm just gonna go straight and then just do some shoulder shaping of course but then that's it so let's move on and let's start the color over here another update for you I did finish the whole front part so now I I see why a lot of knitters actually um, they do shape their shoulders they start picking up stitches from the back and then they bring them forward so I understood why they do that because <laughs> I'm not really very proud of my <laughs> work so yeah, when you actually shape the shoulders, so here is the neck part. I think this actually came out pretty good. Now, the shoulders is another discussion because <laughs> I'm not very proud uh, because I had to cut and then cut. Like I've been cutting a lot the yarn so yeah, I'm not really crazy. The most it's not the most beautiful sight here because you see all this, but that is okay because when I will um, sew the shoulder, I can fix this. It's very very easy. I don't think it's a big problem. But yeah, I never had this problem uh, crocheting because with crochet you just have one stitch on the hook. You don't have all those stitches like you have on the knitting needle. So then you just work and then you just do not work the rest of the five stitches and then you go back. So it's quite easy to decrease five stitches in one time. But with knitting actually it's not like that. So my shoulders turn out like this with all these things over here. But I will make it work for sure. I am very very happy though that I actually have a front part that it has a shape, it has the color shape, it has the shoulder shape, so all is shaped in the right shape, <laughs> let's say that as well. And yeah, I, I, I'm quite happy with it and I think here it's just going to be um, a little bit on my sewing skills, if I can uh, just sew them properly it will not show all this um, yeah, all these things over here, like because it comes like up to here and then flat and then again one and flat. So anyway, um, yeah, I think I am, let me check here. Yeah, I am quite, quite happy with it. It is what it's supposed to be. Is that I already started on the back. So the back is already uh, knitted, all this part. I'm continuing working working hard because in the same time it's not just knitting I'm also some doing some crochet pro, uh, projects so yeah I will keep you updated <laughs> uh, well hi you guys uh, this is not actually the place where I usually take my camera and talk to you but I thought since I can have a little chat with you because I do have um, some time and yeah I just wanted to up give you an update as well on my knitted sweater I was like okay let me just do some knitting some knitting and then I um, I thought wait I can't continue go on with this project because I haven't updated you guys uh, from the last time that uh, yeah I was doing the back piece that was the last time because I have really done some progress with this project so as you know the front part was done 
and then I started the back part you already know that and probably you saw me knit it to a certain point over here so then I did yeah the whole top here so, yeah it went quite well the thing that I noticed though is that I have worked this a little bit tighter than the other piece I don't know why anyway the back part even though it's the same counting the same pattern it's just that it's a little bit tighter than the front part but I it might be also because the front part it's already been worked and stretched so many times I don't know what is exactly the reason but Anyway, I'm pretty sure that, you know, even if it is a little bit tighter, it will still fit with the front uh, pa uh, panel. So yeah, I think it will work out. Uh, I noticed, of course, a few things that I will be aware in the future about my knitting if I do some more other projects. Yeah, I do have something that looks quite strange over here. Yeah, you can totally see that. This is my friends when you are lazy because I apparently I knitted too too much and then I had to frog a couple of rows. So then when I put them back on my knitting needle and then I started to actually work the row because I had to do the increases on both sides. And I didn't care much and then I was just twisting this, this. when I was working the, the stitches. Some stitches because they were already twisted because they were out of the knitting needles. But when I got them back in the knitting needle, actually they were already twisted uh, a little bit. And then when I was working them, sometimes I was even twisting them more. So yeah, I got a lot of twisted and I, I even saw that that was happening. I just didn't care. I was like, ah, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. But then it was not okay. Actually, I could see and I can still see that I'm just that the stitches are kind of twisted there. Uh, but I'm just kind of hoping that this will go uh, away with the blocking. I'm kind of hoping that that will fix a lot of my mistakes. But I mean, this is my first uh, ever knitting project. So, I mean, I was expecting all of these mistakes. And then now the thing is that I am knitting the sleeves. I already did some uh, measurements, some calculations, and I already started and I'm just, it's very, very <laughs> quick, a very little. So I'm starting the ribbing, which is going to be up here. Yeah, I need quite some ribbing. Then I'm going to start and uh, increase, increase, increase to have the full sleeve. I will continue my uh, sleeve and I will uh, let you know what my progress is. Okay, so here is the sleeve. It's uh, growing up pretty well. I'm just following the same uh, pattern as the, the wine one. And um, yeah, it's building up pretty well. I will say I am increasing every four rows. Let's just keep working this pattern until I have the full length of the sleeve. I just uh, wanted to show you very quickly uh, what is my progress on the um, knitted sweater. So the last time I showed you that I started the sleeve and I started to do the pattern with the uh, increases. I had a specific pattern um, and actually that worked pretty well. I kind of had an eye for it. I didn't have to frog, which huh, big release. 
Uh, so I just continued crocheting and the sweater, the, the one uh, sleeve is already finished. So here it is, the full panel is finished. Uh, then I have already started the second one and the second one I have already did a, quite some progress. So this is the second one, I'm nearly at the end. I think I have maybe two or three times more increases and then I am done with it and then all my four pieces are done. All the four panels that I need for this sweater. The problem is, there is a but, is that, uh, yeah, I didn't thought of how am I going to pick all the stitches all around the collar and work the collar up. I didn't thought of that because my knitting needles are straight. I don't have uh, circular knitting needles. So, I remember I bought some time ago circular need knitting needles, but I don't remember the size. I have them over there. I haven't even unpacked them. I will see that, what size is that. But if I see that that is not the right size, I will check online if there is a way to knit the neck with uh, straight knitting needles. I hope I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna check one time. I mean, how did people before do that? How, before the, the circular needles, I mean, how did they do the neck? So that's why my hope is there. But there is a solution somewhere on YouTube. <laughs> so I'm gonna check for that. And then if I find that, that is better. But then if I don't find that, then I'm gonna have to open the the pack uh, and see what's the size of the knitting needles, the circular knitting needles that I ordered, I don't know, three months ago or something that I haven't checked, I haven't even opened. And if that doesn't work as well, then my third option is only to actually order another pair of circular needles. I'm hoping that I'm not gonna go that route. <laughs> Let me first uh, finish the sleeve. Hey guys from my very weird uh, yellow lights <laughs> uh, very weird and very strange yellow lights of my corridor I have already did a lot of progress I think my knitted sweater is um, all the pieces are done all the four pieces are done I just wanted to uh, show you all my progress because I do want to start assembling I am ready to start sewing and hopefully it will fit because this is one of the things that when you are knitting or crocheting a piece like a sweater in this case that has only pieces you can't even try it on to see how it will look or you know I'm just going like here in the dark but uh, I don't think it's going to be bad because I have followed my uh, sweater which I know that it fits and that kind of construction and that kind of style normally it fits. So yeah, I'm mm, enthusiastic and I am positive. I think it will not be that bad. <laughs> So yeah, let me show you. Okay, here it is. So here is the front, back and the sleeves. This is the best news for this project. And then there is uh, not so good news because I couldn't find a tutorial or anything on internet that would show how to actually um, knit the neck over here because I need a ribbing over the neck with long knitting needles so that is not possible that is out of the window i checked though my uh, knitting needles the circular knitting needles that i bought and well that is kind of a half good news and let me tell you why so the reason why i say that is half good news is that is actually a six millimeter needle so it's 
one millimeter bigger than the one the needles the knitting needles that I used to knit this but I am planning to use it because I don't think that it will be that much of a difference um, I think it will still be okay and I don't want to wait another I don't know a couple of days to order another knitting needle and you know I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one so fingers crossed as I say always <laughs> but really this time I really have to cross my fingers for this one so first let's start assembling second let's start picking the stitches of the neck and then let's see how this six millimeter circular needles will work I think this went on very very well don't you agree uh, the neck is perfect over here the opening so anyway too much talking but no perfect perfect I, I, I love it um, yeah I'm gonna continue uh, attaching the sleeves and then I'm gonna pick the stitches for the neck and I think I'm gonna go with um, neck up to here a little bit high so on now to attach the sleeves see you later and now I'm gonna sew the second sleeve <laughs> another very quick update I am back after a couple of hours and I have been progressing quite good I'm happy with uh, the result is that uh, I still have to I tried it on and I still have to oh, my son is shouting so anyway um, I still have to add like at least half of it because I tried it on and it, it's better a little bit longer for, for my liking and it is progressing quite well. I'm very happy with the decision to do the color and even with this uh, needles, circle of needles, they still, still work. They, even though they are one size bigger, they, they work pretty well. So I'm gonna continue to finish the neck uh, line. I think it's gonna take me, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. And then I'm gonna um, block the every, everything the sweater and yeah I can't wait to try it on and here is my first ever knitted sweater my darlings I really loved the whole process of knitting this uh, sweater and I hope that you have enjoyed watching this vlog as much as I enjoyed filming it and edited it and as always I will see you on my next one bye cheers